Alright, gluing and clamping two pieces of wood together. Oh, wait, uh, need some clamps. One moment. Right, so where were we? Okay, so what I'm thinking is, is I'll take a section of this, drill some holes here, mount this to the stud up above, and then drill a hole through here, both sides, and a hole here to act as the hinge, and then I'll put a spring recessed into here, 
that will push off of the bottom of this and then there'll be a hooking latching mechanism here that will trap the board so it'll pivot snap in and then when I want it out I'll go like that and it'll drop out and because I have the hinge point here which should be about in the it's a little this way of the middle of here but it should naturally make this want to come back in and uh, combine that with a light spring and I think we'll be fine uh, the only thing that we have to kind of look out for is making sure this doesn't go too far this way um, so to counteract that I think we'll end up putting like a screw right here uh, and that'll adjust uh, be adjustable that way and for this I think I'll just use a piece of all thread probably 3 8 all thread alright that's the plan we'll see how it works Okay, so it's at this moment, I can't help but uh, say, you know, do this at your own risk. Uh, this was a bit of a uh, an experiment for me, and also an exercise in how do I use old busted up pieces of wood and garbage that I found on the side of the road for the most part to make a clamp rack. Um, yeah. So, I've got three sets of three three-inch screws going into studs for this and then uh, the boards are glued screwed and nailed on the sides which that's the one part I don't really like I would like to put maybe a, uh, an angle bracket in here to secure this vertical piece uh, to this horizontal piece um, really that's kind of the sketchiest thing I'd also like to I think revisit uh, the spacing and these hinges at some point as well. Right now it's a piece of uh, half inch EMT uh, with 3 8 all thread uh, in between and so it's real smooth uh, you know obviously it's not <laughs> high RPM or anything like that but uh, shouldn't wear through. Um, over here it's just a piece of C channel with a bolt through. There's a spring up in there as you've probably already seen in the video uh, and then a hook uh, but yeah everything's just kind of like leftover pieces that I found on the side of the road um, I think this was a, a bedspread uh, this was a part of somebody's remodel I uh, don't know when and where I probably collected this stuff over a year this is a shelf that used to be over here uh, actually, I think it was the one on this wall here uh, that was here when I got the place. Been saving it, and then just some one-inch plywood and some other various bits and bobs. So, uh, real easy to take down. Actually, uh, well, here I'll just show you. I, I should be able to do this one-handed. So yeah, you just come over here. Mm-hmm. 
when she comes down. Ugh. And she stays here pretty solid like. A little bit of rocking, but uh, I offset the hinge location as it relates um, to the width of this board uh, out past um, the center point here. Uh, meaning that as gravity um, and weight tries to pull this down, it'll want to kick over this way uh, and maintain a bit of a back angle uh, so these do not fall out and the whole thing stays in a reasonably rested position uh, as it relates to the <laughs> um, vertical axis here. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, this is one inch plywood uh, scrap that I had. Uh, cut and yeah figured out the spacing for the clamps that I have and they're all just kind of sitting in here there's no real positive retention or anything uh, but so far it's been enough to keep it in there no problems I might um, put a bit of a, a front on this to keep make this kind of like a cubby hole uh, but these are staying in there just like that no problem uh, I left a space here because I don't like bending over because I'm lazy, <laughs> and I can uh, I can pretty much reach down and start grabbing this and pulling it up uh, without too much of a worry. Uh, so yeah, I'd say all up we had 80 pounds probably on here, if you will. Uh, split over these two points, so call that 40 each at this point. Uh, most of the weight of these things is concentrated towards the top um, that way this hinge point takes a greater share of the load as I pull this up um, most of the weight will be towards that side so I probably only have to lift about 30 pounds um, which is which I can do with one hand pretty easily so yeah I just pull. all one-handed just like that yeah, and then everything just stays nice and neat in there when I don't need it. So I'd say this here has two screws, three inch, uh, holding up 40 pounds in the center. The only thing I don't like about the design is that I all this is in sheer, and I would have preferred probably to have something on the back side of this. Um, but yeah, I've got a full. Uh, one foot of clearance between the top of my head and that that lowest point there so no worries there although I am anticipating the day where this thing slams down and uh, you know while I'm working at the lathe and kills me <laughs> so um, I think when I'm not using this I might put like an additional uh, clamp or safety retainer type thing uh, that I would have to take off whenever I wanted to quick take, put, bring this down. Uh, even just a, a rope and a chain hooked into an eye bolt uh, going into a stud would be enough that if this were to let go for whatever reason, there would be a backup um, potentially. I don't know, I have, to, I have to give some thought to that. I had thought about putting some pneumatic cylinders and or... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I had a lazy boy with some linear actuators that but they only got about 12 inches of throw so I, I just didn't see how I was gonna do that um, I had thought about like uh, some kind of spring mechanism and a round disc over here and uh, but the the math was working out to be like 600 per disc uh, at a two and a half inch radius disc up there and 80 pounds in the center at 30 inches uh, that was just way too much, I thought, for any rope. But yeah. So, this thing right here, if I want to put it away, I just bring that down and put it back in. So yeah, there's a little, there's still some room to grow in here. I can get some smaller, uh, more additional stuff here for these smaller clamps that I like. Uh, there's also some space down in here. 
and I may rethink these as far as where to put them and how to hang them. I might throw them on the outside edge maybe, um, either side. They're just way too big and clunky in terms of how far out they come. Uh, so there's no really good way of hanging those where they don't take up a lot of space. But at any rate. Yeah. Good workout for us young people. Not and a uh, good way to kill me, I think, in them at some point in the future. <laughs> Alright. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. Thanks for watching and See you later.